I think we have to say absolutely not. We do not see a breakdown of the relationship between the Father and the Son in, in the sense that the Trinity is somehow breaking apart. That is not what is going on. Um, the language of separation that is used, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me, is the language used of being under the wrath of God, being separated from the presence of his graciousness, but there is nowhere for anyone who is under the wrath of God to escape from the presence of God ultimately. And so something quite unique happens at the cross, that the eternally beloved one has the wrath of God poured out on him. He's never known that before, but he remains the eternal son. And he's not suddenly become split apart from his father. There is a unique, utterly unique moment in their relationship, but he still remains the eternal son.